This is a video about Yelink MVC 860 unboxing. Step 1. Connect and install MTouch Plus. You can find these two cables in the MTouch Plus package. Connect the CAT 5E cable to the M-Core port. Use the USB cable to connect PC to M-Touch Plus. Cover the back cover of the M-Touch Plus. Step 2. Connect and install UVC86. Connect to the power adapter. Connect the USB cable from the UVC86 package to the PC port. Install UVC86. Step 3. Connect RCH40 and audio devices. Connect the CAT 5E cable from the UVC86 package to the VCH port. Connect the other end of CAT 5E cable to RCH40. Connect the power adapter of RCH40 to power supply. 
connect two VCM35 to RCH40. Use CAT 5E cable to connect M speaker 2 to RCH40. Step 4. Connect and install M Core Pro. Press the buttons on both sides to open. Connect the CAT 5E cable from M Touch Plus to the M Touch port of M Core Pro. Connect the other end of USB cable from UVC86 to the M Core Pro. You can find these cables in the M Core Pro package. Prepare a network cable to connect the M Core Pro to the network by yourself. Connect power adapter of the M Core Pro. Connect the HDMI cable as needed for the display. Close the bottom cover until hearing the meaning it has been fastened. Fasten the M Core Pro with machine screws. Install M Core Pro. Pay attention to the direction of the bracket before mounting it on the wall and on the display. Remember to connect all devices to a power supply. Step 5. Set up the system. On the EULA interface, select the Agree checkbox. Click Next. On the account interface enter the email account and password of Skype or Microsoft. Select Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams default from the Supported Meeting Mode drop-down menu. Click Next. Click Next. On the Advanced Interface, configure the domain. Click Next. Click Finish to finish the setup.